The lecturers seem to be really like uh, on it, kind of. <laughs> That's a bad way of putting it, but like they're like they like care about the students. They want to like uh, provide like a good service. I quite like the idea of being able to kind of impact the future um, and like future um, infrastructure, the way that like society works, like civil engineering has a massive impact on that. Specifically I picked civil because of the, um, the interactive aspects. Uh, actually it was my teacher who told me, it was like if you're going to go into engineering you need to go into like an engineering with group work, teamwork. Uh, so I've always had this lifelong dream to build roller coasters. It started out when I was quite young, uh, I was fascinated by them, played lots of games related to them and so as I got older and realised I was quite good at physics and maths, I thought it was a career path that I could pursue. My sister's also involved in civil engineering, so she kind of got me involved in it, kind of explaining to me what it's all about. And I was also quite unsure what I wanted to do in A-level time. I knew I liked maths and physics, so I feel like going down engineering was one of the better routes for me, because it still keeps a lot of doors open. Um, I wanted to have an impact on the world around me, and the more I learned about civil engineering and how much of it affects me every day. I wanted to be a part of that. I think civil engineering is the foundation for society. Everything you see around you, everything in the built environment is all reliant on our civil engineers. Uh, so a huge part of civil engineering is sustainability. There is a huge uh, focus on making our uh, engineering more sustainable for the future and so I think civil engineers would really be at the forefront of uh, correcting some of the mistakes of the past and uh, changing the uh, course of global warming for the better. We're in, the, we're in a world where the population is increasing every single day and uh, there are a lot of new solutions that people consider like vertical farming or living abroad sea, all of these things. They need civil engineers to make it into a reality. So man, I wasn't originally going to come to Manchester. I don't know if this is good no, to talk about, but yeah. That might not make the final No, time. but to be honest, so I ended up, Manchester was the only university that I could get to on a foundation group, um, on a foundation year, only Russell Group Uni, so I was like, let me come to Manchester, and honestly it was one of the best decisions I made, I love the city.